Also, if you are feeling anxious about this year's election, you're not alone. A new poll from the American Psychiatric Association says 73% of people are experiencing stress from this year's election. And with the election being only two weeks away, politics will be the forefront of everyone's minds. So here to talk about how you can curb your election anxiety, Dr. Deirdre Aducci is back. Deirdre, thank you for being here again. I wouldn't miss it. Oh yeah, this has been an unprecedented year in terms of elections really and the coverage. We started covering it, I feel like, very early. So for people who feel overwhelmed, you know, no matter where they go, they're seeing this, what can they do to maybe unplug or cope with it? Well, firstly, I would like everyone to look at their boundaries because it's our choice to engage. We are really so inundated with political ads and people coming and giving us literature, et cetera, et cetera, seeing signs that we feel as though there's not a lot we can control. What we can control is our boundaries. You can disengage from social media. If a coworker or a family member is inundating you with excess information, then you can also walk away from that in a respectful manner. But we need to really set our limits at this time. It's very important. And a lot of people do have concerns. When they're pulled, mm -hmm. they're saying the economy, healthcare, things mm -hmm. that hit close to home for them, personal mm -hmm. issues. So how do you put some of those worries aside? Do you focus on other things in life or just wait to see the results and then move forward? Well, I think that we know that we can't control these issues, but I think a lot of us are very anxious about what the outcome will be. So control what you can control. If you want to volunteer with your political group or your candidate, you can volunteer. If you want to be part of something in that arena, go ahead and do that. But also realize, what can't I control about it? If that part is making you anxious, then unplug with that. And stay in your time zone. You don't want to go forward or you don't want to go backward. So if you're staying in current day, you realize, I can't control what's going to happen in the future with politics. Yeah, I and mean, the ads are really constant. You, it's hard they to are. escape. We're inundated. Right. How do you maybe separate yourself from some of those things? Let's say you're on your computer, you're on social media. What would you suggest someone do? Should you maybe limit yourself? to how much time you spend? I think just like we teach our children that we may have a certain amount of time. If you need a timer, set a timer. Do it the old-fashioned way. But a lot of times people are coming in office and telling me that they have overexposure and then they're anxious. Mm -hmm. And it's up to us to set our time limits with how much exposure we're getting with these things. You know, not just the next couple weeks, but we have holidays coming up. Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and the rest of the mm -hmm. season for the holidays. So let's say you're in a conversation with someone and you don't want to be talking politics at mm -hmm. all. How do you jump out of that? Well, first of all, I think that's a great foray when you invite people to your home or when you're going to make certain we're not going to be talking politics. It's just not polite. It's not respectful to do that in someone's home. So what I would suggest, if someone does that and you're not comfortable, if you are, great. But if you're not, then just very respectfully express, I'm not comfortable talking about that and getting up and moving. Yeah, maybe offer to pass the potatoes and the roll of the yes. butter. Say, I'll get you anything else but a conversation but on that. I'm not going okay. to do that. All right, Deirdre, great advice as always. Thank you so much for being here. Just two weeks away. Here Just we go. Just two weeks away. Yeah, We're we all waiting. Work. Yeah, we can do it. All right, thank you.